Mississippi, where the Wiper Party is currently holding a press briefing. Let's cross over there and listen in live to Mombasa County Senator Hassan Omar, who is currently speaking. We actually told you that we're also going to have on the 15th the National Governing Council to ratify decisions of the disciplinary committee. So today the report was to come and tomorrow uh, this uh, we were to ratify. But because the disciplinary committee has not yet presented that report, therefore this meeting had to proceed with other items of the agenda. So anybody who has reported anything to the contrary is false to that extent uh, where the, 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 this, this was purely a routine uh, uh, disciplinary committee, I mean uh, a neck meeting. Secondly, we, we, have, uh, we want to reiterate again that we have the National Delegates Conference on of, to, to, to validate or to, to endorse the party leader as the presidential flag bearer for the Code Coalition on the 10th of December uh, of uh, this year. You do realize that is, that's also an extremely symbolic date. That is also the, day, the International Human Rights Day. You do realize that WIPA right now is moving towards social justice, towards a more equal society, towards a more humane society, towards a society where all Kenyans you know, feel that there is no discrimination, whatever grounds. So therefore, it is, it is quite pragmatic for us also to symbol, symbolically uh, launch or declare our presidential candidate on that very symbolic day. Therefore, uh, that, for, for that purpose, this national daily, this uh, committee, uh, this NEC meeting today, uh, exhaustive, exhaustively uh, discussed about uh, the, the, that, dis that uh, national delegates conference, which will be on the 10th of this month, okay. of next month. Um, thirdly, now to the substance of the press release itself, uh, is about the, the, the changing of the goalposts by the IBC with respect to proposals of uh, the, the spe special committee or the select committee with respect to the polling centers or the number of mem mem uh, registered voters per polling center. And uh, for that reason, the WIPA uh, Democratic Movement, uh, in its next meeting today, has reaffirmed the position publicly stated by our party leader during the third tour of Makweni, Taita Taveta, and Kajiado counties that IBC should lease if and not of SS by technology in the management of our 2017 election, a general election. You do realize that this technology sometimes is just used periodically for a certain period of time. So therefore, it is also pragmatic to lease it if the, the cost of buying it might be exorbitant because technology also has the tendency to be obsolete in a very short time. You have a six, S6, before you realize you're told there's an S6 edge, the difference is the same. And then before you realize you have an S7, and before you realize there's something age about it, you know? So I think before, because of the dynamic nature, you know, Jubilee is the one that called itself digital, but we, they need a bit of tuition, that uh, technology is fast evolving. The only thing digital about them is their theft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It has been, it is beyond proportions that we all can imagine. This, this digital theft, even more is analog regime, could not imagine it. So, so therefore, Currently, the IBC has 44,000 polling centers uh, stations. The new law increases them to 57,000. WIPA insists that the number of voters must be retained at 500 per polling station. The most shocking thing is that while Jubilee says that they are digital, they seem to be more analog than the word analog itself. Reasons, A, technology, in technology, five years is a very long time, and technology, which is five years old, is, is likely, based on the dynamism, become obsolete. Jubilee should not be telling Kenyans uh, about buying technology. They should be telling Kenyans about leasing technology to that extent of management of our next elections and cutting down on costs. Um, there are internationally well-known companies which are ready to lease election technology to Kenya. They include, but are not limited to IBM, Samsung, uh, and, other, and companies in France and India. The technology we are talking about was used in the last Indian general election and even in Sierra Leone. How this technology therefore works uh, in, in, in this manner. Under this technology, the IBC uh, data on registered voters will be uploaded into a software and will run nonstop for a maximum of six days. By the end of it, it will have tied every single voter, complete with, uh, uh, with their, bi their biometrics and all other particulars to a specific polling station. Under this technology, 
the leasing company in collaboration with IBC will recruit and train about 60,000 young people for about three days. There are leasing companies willing to deploy this technology at a cost of US dollars 300 per unit. Each, of, 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 of each set of equipment has capacity to perform voter registration, voter verification, and, voter, and results transmission. If this capacity is to, is to, is to, is to, is, it has the capacity to save data in iCloud, send emails, and even give a printout. It is therefore, uh, it, is, it also has the provisions for dry cell and electricity. Through leasing one unit, uh, uh, the, uh, at U US dollars uh, 300 per, per polling station, or even less, or less mm -hmm. meaning that polling stations that equal, uh, equal at $600 uh, with 57 polling stations. This technology alone will not cost us more than $3.5 billion, mm -hmm. uh, 3 .5 billion. Payment of youth will only cost about a billion shillings. All logistics will co and others will cost about one billion shillings. Therefore, we have actually tried to give IBC a summary of alternatives so they need to jog their minds. We do not want a CEO of an IBC who comes to read us the Impracticality Act, that this is not probable, this is not possible. If, he, if anything that has been proposed is not possible, the CEO must ship out and let people who can only manage the election within the prism of the, of the areas that have been agreed upon and the ag agreement that was undertaken. And in this, in this day and age, you can deploy all institutions towards facilitating IBC. Parliament is at their disposal. A, a, the executive is at, a, at our disposal. So therefore, any issues that, are, that, that require certain barriers to be broken and certain you know, legislative uh, procedures to be put in place, that we, we, we must manage the election and conclude uh, and, 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 and live up to the concurrence and what has been uh, agreed upon. The second issue is one of the most important issues of our time since the Jubilee administration came into power. All of you are quite conscious that is corruption. The Wiper Democratic Movement is greatly alarmed by the rising level of corruption in various state departments. Despite our previous calls to the top leadership to tame corruption within its rank and file, our repeated pleas have gone unheeded. This is proof that the Jubilee regime thrives on corruption and hence the reason is not, to, not keen uh, to stamp it out. Further, there appears to be deliberate efforts to scuttle the fight against corruption by shielding certain personalities from investigations and or prosecutions. The NY has come. It is, for instance, not clear why persons adversely mentioned by Ms. Anwai Guru when she appeared before the Public Accounts Committee have not been compelled to appear before this committee and all other relevant public watchdogs to shed more light on the NYS uh, scam. This failure to summon the, uh, uh, these persons adversely mentioned is an apparent, is an apparent connivance and or cover-up meant to, to keep the lead on the scandal that has led to, more than, uh, to the loss of more than uh, 791 million of public funds. Quite telling, too, is the fact that the investigations to the scam appear to be in a, in a deliberate way, dragging on and on and on, with no end in sight. The Wiper Democratic Movement demands that all these persons and other suspects who hold vital information on the scam be summoned to appear before the relevant bodies to say what they know about this great uh, con on the taxpayers' resources. How could Josephine Kavura, as I, was, I, I, I saw it from uh, Waiguru that it's Kavura, not Kabura. How can Josephine Kavura, <laughs> the biggest beneficiary of the, one, the shillings 1.8 questionable NYS transaction, have been allowed to engage in a scandal of such mon mon monstrous proportions? Where was the governor of the central bank at the time? Where was the central bank supervisory authority, uh, unit at that time? What actions have they taken since? Additionally, why was the family bank allowed to float banking laws or regulations? You know how, it's, how hard it is these days to transact on one million shillings. You have to fill literally an entire, an entire document, even telling who your grandfather is and where they migrated from. You know, it has become quite cumbersome. Uh, why, why were amounts of more than one million not transacted in the, in the way in, in, by, by those regulations? Why was Kabura, Kabura an exception? Kenyans need urgent answers uh, to these and other issues. How many of these such, such frauds are, are being facilitated in other ministries with the connivance of public organs entrusted to protect public affairs? The Afi House scandal. It is shocking, quite shocking that the Jubilee regime, particularly the president and his deputy,
can watch helplessly as shillings, Kenya shillings, three, po, three billion plus health funds are plundered by people close to the presidency. In fact, as I say, as I, I say, as I, as I, as we sat here today, we have directed all members of the, of the White House. All right, and uh, that is uh, Hassan Omar, who is. Uh, member of the WIPA party and uh, also the senator for Mombasa County talking about an array of issues uh, that have dogged the WIPA party of, of course uh, the happenings with the disciplinary committee and um, those who are widely perceived to be defectors is also talking about a range of national issues most of it uh, touching on corruption and the manner in which the Jubilee government is handling it remember the WIPA party is expected to have its national delegates a conference in December where they will probably endorse Kalonzo Musioka as their party leader, of course, and uh, the one who will carry the flag, the presidency flag for the Wiper party. And of course, we'll be giving you more info in our subsequent bulletins. But up next, I will now pave way